One of the things that ends up happening with the quantity of tragedy that we have right now taking place in the world is that you know, you're constantly being swayed from one conflict to the next, from one tragedy to the next, and you don't have time to make a meaningful connection to anything because you feel overwhelmed, you feel numb. In the same way, when you actually go there and dive deep into that place and start to humanize the victims and start to connect with them both as, as, as human beings and as your Muslim brothers and sisters too, and then you drive out and you say, oh my God, SubhanAllah, what about the rest of them? How much have I really done to change that person's life? You start to question yourself. And that questioning can become debilitating so that you don't do what you can do because you are so paralyzed by what you can't do. Even the Prophet ﷺ felt that. He felt that, that deep sense of sorrow. It wasn't despair because despair debilitates. Sorrow, if channeled properly, activates. You need them as much, if not more, than they need you. The prayer of the oppressed has no barrier between it and Allah, whether it is against a person or for a person. What does it mean to actually be the answer to someone's prayer? When do we start thinking how blessed it would be to be the answer to someone else's prayer. And Allah sends His Rahmah, His mercy to a person through you. Allah finds you worthy enough to be a vehicle of His mercy to a person. To be a vehicle of His Fadl, of His bounty to a person, Allah uses you. A box of aid reaches them, a sponsorship to send someone to school. And the aid worker says, this is from so-and-so. And the person says, Jazahumullahu khayran. May Allah reward them and says, SubhanAllah, I, you know, this is amazing. The happiest day of my life, I get to send my daughter to school. We don't have to worry about putting our kids out there to work for one dinar a day. We have our food, our medical supplies, our drink covered. We have one hem, one concern that has been lifted from us. It's been taken away from us. How beautiful is it? when that person raises their hands to the skies for you.